Spiritual Warfare Prayer Warfare prayer is the prayer to dispel evil forces opposed to our well-being and the plans of God for us. The Bible captured aptly the missions and tendencies of these powers and evil forces in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 and 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9 and also in Matthew chapter 11 verse 12. In 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9, the Bible says, For a great door and effectual is opened unto me, and there are many adversaries. And in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And in Matthew 11 verse 12 the Bible says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. Those and many other scriptures are indications of the activities of the devil and his cohorts that we must contend with through prayers, particularly warfare prayers. Let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, are you new here? Please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description box. God bless you. All right, now. Let us pray. Dearest Everlasting Father, King of Glory, the Mighty Man in Battle, Ancient of Days, Invisible and Indefatigable Jehovah God. Who is like unto thee? And who can be compared with you? In battle who can stand you? There is none, no not one. Heaven and earth tremble at your command. Everything above the earth, in the earth and beneath the earth bows at the mention of your name. Dearest Lord, the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. The Creator of all things, I come unto you this hour in the name above every other name, which you have given to your Son, my Lord Jesus Christ, which at the mention of it, every kneel bows and every tongue confesses that he is the Lord, the name with which if we ask you anything in it, you grant it to us. Lord. I come unto you this hour in that name, Jesus, the Christ. Thank you first and foremost dear Lord, for the gift of life and for the graces in which with it you have continuously protected, guarded and guided us. Thank you for your deliverance of our souls from the destructive wills and actions of the devil. For it has all been by your grace and mercy, of which if it were not for your grace and mercy we would have been consumed. But Father Lord, you haven't allowed it. Thank you dear Lord. We are truly grateful. Thank you once more, for your ever-sufficient and abundant graces. However dear Father Lord, being that the enemies, the devils and the adversaries and their cohorts are not relenting in their evil scheming, machinations and plots to unleash evil and mayhem against us your people and your creations. In order to destroy your works and to invert or distort your orderings and ordinations. Therefore Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I invoke your wrath vengeance and judgment against them, the opposers of your plans and good works in the life of men. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, let every opposer and opposition of your grace and glory in my life and family by the power and blood of Jesus Christ, be routed, defeated and be completely destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I invoke your fire, thunder and brimstone against every evil force or power working against your favor and blessings in my life and family. In the name of Jesus Christ. For your word makes me understand, in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, that your thoughts toward me, are of peace, and not of evil, to give me an expected end. Therefore Father Lord, the devil, demon and their agents that say that I will not have the peace you have ordained for me in my home, my business places, my workplaces and my offices. Father. Let your fire, thunderstorm and brimstone come upon them in a heavy downpour now wherever they are and destroy them with their evil plots and diabolic plans. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let all their conspiracies and vain imaginations against me be routed, and turned into foolishness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, let their evil plots and plans against me come upon them and destroy them. In the name of Jesus Christ. For your word says in Proverbs chapter 10 verse 24 that the fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Dear Father Lord, let their fears and evil intentions and vain imaginations against me come upon them wherever they are. 
In the name of Jesus Christ. Let every arrows of wickedness sent against me turn back now to the senders and pin them down in defeat and total destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let every arrow of delay, poverty, shame, humiliation, failure, slavery and servitude shot against me return to the shooter and sender and become their lot. In the name of Jesus Christ. For you promise me dear Lord, in your word of Isaiah chapter 49 verses 25 and 26 saying, but thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered, for I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children, and I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine, and all flesh shall know that I the Lord am thy Saviour and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Therefore dear Father Lord, in accordance with your word, deliver me from every enemy oppressors and their oppressions. Let their evil and diabolic plots against me and my family be scuttled, stifled and raised to ashes by fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Feed them, dearest Lord, as you have promised, with their own flesh and cause them to be drunken in dear own blood as with sweet wine. That they may know that you are my Savior and my Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Send your angels dearest Lord, to go before me to level and bulldoze out of my way every hindrance and stumbling blocks that the enemies might have placed on my ways, to hinder and impede my progress, prosperity and well-being. In the name of Jesus Christ. For in your word of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 2. Lord, you promised to go before me, and make the crooked places straight, and to break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut and sunder the bars of iron, and to give me the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places, that I mayest know that you the Lord, which call me by my name, are the God of Israel. Therefore dearest Lord, make good these promises to me today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dearest Father Lord, let every altar speaking evil, curses and diabolic enchantment against me be consumed by fire now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, let every weapon, material or non-material, physical or non-physical, formed against me and my family be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let every verbal attacks against me be routed and destroyed now by fire and thunder in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cancel and counteract every enchantment and divination against my health, wealth, progresses and prosperities. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Now let me pray for you my listeners, while you claim it with your echo of Amen. Dearest Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree over the life of my listeners, as you instructed and directed by your word of Job chapter 22 verse 28 which says, Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Therefore Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare freedom and deliverance for every listener here under any form of demonic orchestrated limitations. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the infallible Word of God, set at liberty anyone watching this video who is under any form of emasculation or depression, or dejection or slavery. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare them loosed and freed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare, there is no more slavery, misfortunes, emasculation and victimization. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bind and cast into the abyss the spirits behind the woes and predicaments in the life of every listener here and now. In the glorified name of Jesus Christ, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set free also every struggling destiny, business, career of my listeners in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree favor, wealth, prosperity, promotion to everyone under my voice this hour. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, dearest Father Lord, for answer, for in Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.